Welcome back to Razmafsar TV. Uh, first of all, thank you very much uh, because I have received, uh, we have received many interesting comments and very nice comments regarding the first one. And uh, two subscribers asked me about uh, how, I mean, after you pull them off, what do I think about what uh, stances can I take? Um, I mean, <laughs> actually pulling the knife uh, uh, for diving was for me. Imagine you're trapped in a fishing net, or I don't know. You just see the uh, possibility when you dive or when you have long distance swimming and you have you carry one of them, which you don't need actually, but more in diving cases, how to pull it as fast as you can. Regarding fighting with a knife, I mean in water. I mean, okay, if it's your profession, like say there's some uh, military forces who are also in the Marines or so. If there is a necessity to pull a knife, and of course, mostly they have their, um, firearms, right, which also function accordingly in different environments. But uh, if there is a necessity you need to defend yourself, uh, I'm going to discuss some positions. The first position after you, uh, you, you swim, right? So normally, I, what I prefer, of course, everyone has different opinions, I fully respect them, what I prefer is that to put the knife in front of course if I want to then this is the first thing then from there I pull back and put my legs back go to like a baby position my legs or my knees are bent and then my legs go like this and I stand there then I can for example do a thrust or a stand or two or more and then stay there right first of all this is this position if you want to have more power Many people think you cannot trust in the water. You can, trust me on that. If you're on the surface of water, you can even go like we do in crawl and then overstand because the air has less resistance than water. But I'm first going to do this baby position, stab, and then stretch. Back with the legs, stab again, and come back. So that's what I'm going to do for you. Let me just swim and go. So basically, what I do is, I go into this baby position, stab, and then I stretch. Again, I pull it, go into this baby position, stab, and stretch. Then I can swim and skate away. That's what I suggest if you need to do it. Okay, let me see again, I'll show it again to you. This time it works better. The positioning of the knife and you, how you put the uh, scabbard is extremely important. And also important is that you do not cut yourself accidentally, especially with this knife, also serrated blade on the back, very fast. Give yourself a cut, which is a very bad idea in water, in open water. Especially if you start to bleed profusely. If, if the cut is not uh, very deep, but uh, bleeding is not a good idea in open water, as you know. So I'm going to swim again. Do the same technique now with uh, breaststroke. You 
you see? That's the knife. Even uh, with the brush stroke, it works. So that's the whole idea with it. So you go into baby position, cross, and then you can go there. Now, I'm going to swim again with a with crawl freestyle and then pull the knife turn to the to my right to the same position imagine something attacks you from the side so i'm going to do this from this same technique with crawl and I go to the right side this time my right side will be here Especially when you do these sudden movements and turn and you have a diving knife in your hand, you need to be careful. Of course I don't have any protection now, but if you have a suit, dry suit or wet suit, whatever, diving suit, I mean, it gives you protection, right, depending on the quality of it, of course. Even It's not an absolute protection, but still it's a protection, naked skin. This is going to be, you need to be very, very careful. So please don't do these things unless you're a good swimmer. I also know how to deal with uh, weapons, right? With knives and diving knives. So this was, I went to the right side, doing the crawl. Now I'm going to do it to the left side, right? So my left and I swim that to go that way. Okay, so. As you could see, I got quite close to the wall of the pool. I needed to be careful not to hit the wall. Miscalculated. But in water it happens faster than you think. So now I'm going to the left side. It's going to be this side. This is going to be more difficult because you need to draw the knife. You need to turn. Here we draw. On the right side, first we should remember because I'm right handed. So I go to that. As you could see, this time my knife got stuck and I had to struggle to pull it out. Sometimes it happens, not very often. Uh, so you need to be careful. So you see that I went to the right, I went to the left, and I'm going now to do it the same thing with the breaststroke and I go to the right side.
Amazingly to the right where I have my diving knife, a dive knife, it uh, goes much better than to the left side. Okay, so this was to the right, the right side, now my right side over here. I'll show it to you again. This is a brass stroke to my right side, the same technique. Now I'm going to do it to the left side. So, this will actually, there is no guarantee as you know from the technique. We all know it in real martial arts. But uh, training actually, as anything else, as in any sport, being volleyball, basketball, skiing, swimming, the more you practice, let's see, the best thing I can say, like in skiing, the more you ski, the better you get, you become. And the better and the faster, more balance again. Same thing with compounds that get created, or forms of being tuned, or whatever. Any other sport, any activities in martial arts, or also sport, I know many people don't like it because you need to control your body, your physical your muscles, your reaction. And the more you do it, the better you get. So, this is also the case that you will. Uh, get used to this and the water is getting cold here <laughs> in the air as well you get used to it so you can turn to different uh, sides and practice it in my opinion uh, to do this technique okay the easiest one is when you slow forward as i showed you first you draw it and then it's for me the second easiest was when you turn right where you are because i'm right-handed and especially because my knife is here in the right hand the left was the third one, which was the hardest one to draw, and now the hardest one is actually going to get an attack from the back, the draw, and turn. There are two ways to turn. The best is to turn from the side where your knife is. Sometimes you get hit and you cannot do it, so you turn from that side. That's too long. I wouldn't suggest it. So I'm going to play this game that I'm going to turn from where I pull it, turn from that side. With the same thing. Got distracted because of this temperature gauge, <laughs> but um, that's the whole idea behind it. I'm going to show it one more time from this side.
as I said to you, the suggestion is to turn from this side. Hard to tell when you hit, uh, get hit from or attacked from the back, especially in open water. Open, you don't know where you are. Right. So, suggestion for open water is when you do crawl. Of course, you need to crawl to go faster to fight against the waves or whatever. Uh, even the, okay, you dive is a different thing, but then uh, and then you do press to see what's going on. But to turn from this side, from the right side is the easiest one, as I showed you. It's crawl. I'm going now to do it on breast stroke. It's the same thing. So you can train from two different strokes, which are for open water. Of course, we have also back crawl and we have also butterfly. I'm not going to show them to you because we don't use them for open water. Later on, maybe I'll show them to you just for fun because they're meant more for swimming in pools, right? But uh, later on, maybe I'll show them to you. But then, if you like it. Can make comments, but uh, for now I'm going again to show the breast stroke with this technique to try. I need to say, if you practice Japanese sword throwing, like Iaido, Yajitsu, it helps you a lot because there you don't, you're not supposed to look in the sheath, your katana, your bakizashi. You can use the same technique to put it back because you cannot look it, so you can look at it, so you can uh, feel scared to put your knife back. It really helps. So I go back and swing. So, so that was the whole idea with the diving knife and the, to train your techniques here. And uh, thank you for coming to our channel. And please subscribe to us. Our team members, they have all excellent ideas. Our experts in archery, on different historical weapons self-defense or MMA fighters they all make good excellent contributions to this channel our researchers please keep supporting us we show different martial arts Persian, Japanese, Chinese, different arts welcome any other techniques and tactics for historical and also modern martial arts and combat systems Thank you very much and see you soon.